Hey everyone, okay, so today I'm going to be talking you through one of the major kind of, it's not really a no-no, but it's one of those things that people tend to do a lot of and don't really know why they're doing it. So I wanted to kind of talk to you about it. Now, below the blurb in the description bar is a link. Now this video, the link will take you to a video that shows you how to contour every single nose shape because not every nose shape is identical. We all have different noses. So have a look at that and then you can identify your nose shape and then these principles that I'm talking to you about now will come into play. So first of all, we're just gonna contour the nose just so I can kind of give you a bit of a guideline and then we'll go into the tutorial. So I'm just going to contour the nose down the sides as best I can. So just we're just drawing the lines down the sides of the nose. Now a lot of times people will kind of loop here and all this does is it shortens the nose tip. So don't worry if it's not too straight or anything like that, it doesn't matter. Now we've done our nose contouring. Now what people tend to do is with a sponge, they tend to start blending. And what they do is, I'm using a little beauty blender, they blend like this. And they blend it down. Now the main issue here when you blend is that with contouring and highlighting, it's all about light and dark. When you're contouring your nose, what you're doing when you blend down, you're blending the darkness down. So you're bringing darkness down into the face. And that normally isn't what we want to go against. We want to bring light into this area. And by bringing this contour down, as we blend, we blend down, we're bringing darkness. What we want to do is when we're blending the contour, we want to push it and push it up. So we're using the sponge and we are literally just pushing the product really lightly up. So we're bringing the contour up. This will then give the appearance of a more narrow nose, which is, tends to be why we're contouring down it anyway. And then we're still leaving all of this light here, which is what we want. So that's the tip. Rather than when you're contouring your nose, just doing this and pulling the product down, what we wanna do is push the product and bring it up. You can even use your finger just very lightly push the product up. This will give the nose a more realistic look. It will give the nose a more beautiful overall effect because you are basically making it narrower and you're, the light here that you probably highlighted will look even more apparent, giving you a narrower nose and the lightness that you want here. So I hope that makes sense. So basically, whenever you're contouring, draw your line straight down and then blend up, blend the darkness up into the face, not out, if that makes sense. That does make sense. I always make sense, so that makes sense. Again, check that video out so then you can find your nose shape and that will help you then decide whether or not you need to draw straight lines, whether you just need lines here, whether you need them here, where you need to put the light to create the most flattering nose shape for you. Thanks so much. Again, I've been listening to your comments on my video. Leave your comments that let me know what videos you want to see more of so I can make them for you because that way we're kind of helping each other. And don't forget to like this video because that's really important. And if you really want to be kind, you would share it as well. But don't forget to like. And I'll see you all soon. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Okay, so click it. You see this? Click my box. Now, what? how good an offer is that? That's it. Click my box. If you are suffering or have... You know when you're applying your foundation and suddenly every single hair on your face stands on end, it makes your face look, <clears throat> you know, much, no, no, really hairy and there's no need for it. Then click this box, that's, that's me, and it will take you to a video where I explain how to lay down foundation so that the hair on your face lays down really, really smoothly. You know that peach kind of fuzzy hair? So it lays down smoothly and you don't end up looking like Chewbacca. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.